Scott Burroughs is a renowned expert on transformational change. And speaking of change, our world is changing at the fastest rate in human history. So how fast can you communicate with each other? Your customers, the wirehouses, the banks, the independent financial advisors by way of texting. Yet sometimes with all the speed comes those knee-jerk reactions, chaos, and even confusion. I mean, it wasn't too long ago people were predicting that if technology continues to enter the marketplace at this rate, it's going to free up even more of our time. Now, I'm curious. How many of you here today are enjoying all that free time that technology has introduced into your lives? <laughs> By a show of blackberries. <laughs> How much time do you have? If anything, the change we're experiencing today is making our lives busier. And if there's one thing I've learned firsthand about change, it's this. The next time you find yourself resisting it, pay attention to your resistance and see the futility of it. I mean, we can't change the past, but we have today, and today we can choose how to respond to a life, a business environment, and even a world that simply refuses to stay the same. As an internationally recognized motivational speaker, successful business entrepreneur and author, companies hire Scott to kick off their conferences, to inspire their organizations to thrive, beat the odds, and achieve extraordinary results regardless of circumstances. He uses his own experience in persevering through tremendous adversity to deliver a powerful message on focus, clarity, and goal setting. That experience, along with his business intelligence, can help your team turn the odds in favor of success in business and in life. Scott has already helped transform the mindsets of associations and world-class organizations such as GE, Target, John Hancock, and Eli Lilly. In fact, after their conference, GE wrote, What really confirmed that you were the right choice for this meeting was your ability to take the information you gathered in our pre-conference call and weave it seamlessly into your message. You have incorporated more of us into your message and delivered the message to us more than any other speaker has ever done for us. I just came out of hearing Scott Burroughs and um, I got to catch my breath because it was so powerful. And you constantly showed the implementation of, of ways to continue to get into action. When Scott entered college, he envisioned becoming a world-class athlete. He played college football at Florida State University and was a top-ranked kickboxing champion, having his last fight broadcast by ESPN. So here's the thing. Vision really is at the beginning. It's one of the most valuable assets that we have. It costs us nothing, but it can bring us everything. So when you get home tonight, give your vision life and give it depth. Be willing to see complete success in your mind's eye first and then imprint that success. Imprint it over and over and do it so frequently that your mind can no longer tell the difference between your heavily etched idea and what's real. Right after celebrating that kickboxing victory, Scott's life changed dramatically after a serious automobile accident as a passenger left him paralyzed from the chest down and diagnosed a quadriplegic. What is mindset? It's what you do with what you can control. I mean, we all have circumstances in our lives, right, that we wish we could change, small or large, and there's things you wish you know you could change. So my question is, what are you gonna do about it and what can you do about it? You can choose how you look at it, you can choose how you interpret it, and you can choose how you react to it. That's mindset. Your mindset will change your outcome or your minds that will help you stay stuck and perhaps confined well within your comfort zones. Now, someone who inspired me with her mindset, her insights, was the actress Helen Hunt. And she was in a movie with Jack Nicholson, As Good As It Gets, and she won an Oscar for her performance. Now, afterwards, she was interviewed. They go, now that you've won the Oscar, Helen, you must be getting a lot of different types of movie scripts. My question is, how will you go about choosing which one best suits you? And she said, I'll go with what scares me. I mean, think about that for a moment. Go with what scares me. What kind of mindset do you need to be in to go with what scares you? After being diagnosed a quadriplegic, Scott refused to be sidelined. It was then that he realized in order to survive, 
he was going to have to change his mindset and develop the grit to keep him off the sidelines and in the game of life. And it was during this time that I made the decision, okay, that I was willing to fail, but I was unwilling to quit. That's the mindset I took on. The same one that you can capitalize on to increase your own effectiveness in all areas of your lives by focusing on your families, by focusing on yourself and your work here at Valak. But here's the thing, as you're going through these processes, it's pretty important to keep your visions clear and always in the forefront of your thinking. Because here's what I've learned. You can have the most thought-provoking vision as wholesalers. And the mindset of a world champion is an organization. But neither of those two areas will work real effectively together unless you are willing to push yourself that extra one-eighth of an inch. And that's what I mean when I use the word grit. It's your willingness to persevere, to be resilient in your pursuit, especially when all else beckons you to give in, quit, or even worse, do nothing at all. Well, there's something I learned in my life so many years ago, and I know it to be absolutely true, and it's this. Don't ever let your competition or other people's beliefs hold you back and paralyze you from achieving those things you believe you can achieve in your own mind.